Welcome back to Jenny and Board Games as we continue on our search for the Christmas number one game. Today, I'm going to go through a game from Blue Orange called Battle Sheep. A game for two to four players, age seven and up, and should last between 10 and 15 minutes of gameplay. The idea of Battle Sheep is to have the most sheep lying down on pasture. How do we do this? Well, First of all you need to set up the board and you get some pretty funky pieces in this game as you can see. So you each get some tiles and you have to make a board. So let's see how it goes once we set up the board. Each player starts with a stack of 16 sheep. Now the sheep have got different emotions on them but it makes no difference to the game. Once the board's complete the first player gets to place the whole stack of sheep on an outer edge hexagon. So white decides to go here. Now where's black going to go? Seeing this is only a two player game, I'll show you how it moves. White, being the first player, has a choice. It can move as many sheep as it wants, apart from the bottom, which always stays where it lands. But he has to follow the hexes. So he can either go this way, or along there. But, he has to go until he can go no further. So, in this case, he's going to take half his stack, just over, and go this way. Now it's Black's turn. He has the same decision to make. So all the way over here. So, white's going to go now. And he's going to go this way. Now it's black's turn. And white's going to go here. So, already black is not going to be able to move. Four sheep! But it's Black's go. He has to go with his other stack. Where's he gonna go? Out of the way! He's running away! So White's gonna go up here. And go there. As you can see, it's a very, very simple game. But you've got to keep going until you can go no further. And that's what makes it a difficult part of the game. Now black can't go now, because he's got been blocked over here. But white can, so white moves again. Again, black can't go, but white can. And that ends the game. Now then, white has got two pieces left over, but black has got one, two, three, four, five pieces left over. So therefore, white wins. Bah humbug! Humbug, I tell you! Humbug! You're not very sheepish today, are you? Ma, ma. Are you right around right, right, home? Ma. Is it because you won? Yes! <laughs> Maram you! Maram you! Do your flop your police beat! Anyway, enough of babe. <laughs> Let's talk about Battle Sheep! Battle Sheep of the future! Of the future? Yes. Did you not know that sheep battle? I bet you didn't know that they stacked on top of each other. When you're at home at night and the shepherds have gone to sleep, they play. And they play little battles. Did you know this? I did not know this. Myself, I did not. Well, the game, as you've just seen there, shows that sheep are very territorial. Yes. You're not having my spot. They're having their own pasture, just for one. But they also follow each other, hence the stacks. 
And that's the heart of the game. How many sheep do you take into a spot? Because other sheep might say, I like the look of that spot and you're not having it. I'm having it. They could do. If they're a tactical sheep. Like your tactical sheep. My sheep were Surrounded just... Surrounded my sheep. They were tired. They didn't want to walk very far, so... You just got in their way. <laughs> Is it because I'm a loser? A sheep? Maybe my sheep were just falling asleep. That could be it. Remember? Were you counting your sheep? <laughs> to a sheep. Sheep may safely graze. Ba, 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 ba. <sighs> anyway, enough of the music interlude. <laughs> Battle Sheep. One of our first games. The pieces are really good. Blue Orange makes some really good pieces. And in this game, it doesn't. Uh, it's just so good. Because you have to stack them up, a lot of the 16 to stack up. If it was, if it was anything lesser quality, they'd be bending quite a lot, yeah. I think. So there's quite solid pieces. The shiny sort of poker chips. but Yeah, I like poker chips. But they're good. And everyone's got a slightly different artwork, which just makes it a really nice idea. Yes. So if, if you, you always like the artwork, or you can think more tactically yeah. of how to get every single sheep down in a pasture. Yeah. And our, our shortest game was, was it? Four like or four five moves. Seconds? Yeah, that was it. It was a case of... Oh, you've got the. I've gone there. I've blocked you in. You're for, You're out yeah. straight away. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you can be. You can have it in seconds, but other games can last a little bit longer. It's not a very quick. No, I'm sorry. It's not a very long game at all. It's a nice quick filler, but it's fun for the family, and you know most kids can handle it. It's just the case of the pieces might topple over, you know, because it needs big hands. But I'm sure an adult could do that. Assistance at sheep moving. Yeah. Yes, outsource your sheep moving. You know. But you could just tell them where to go. That could be an option, you're right. So, for me, Battle Sheep gets a good 9 out of 10. Yeah, a good 9 out of 10. A good 9 out of 10. Bar, bar, bar. Bar, bar, bar. Bar, bar, bar. White sheep won. Black sheep lost. Jenny lost. Thanks, Jenny, once again, for being a happy... Black sheep of the family. Black sheep of the family. Loser. <laughs> ah, humbug. <laughs>